of Abraham Somerset Police. Benefit cheats in England and Wales could be given a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison under new guidelines issued by the Director of Public Prosecutions. Keir Starmer said getting one over on the system is not a victimless crime. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by Owen Jones, who's a columnist at The Independent. Good morning to you. Good morning. So is he right for this crackdown to take place? Well, I think it's pretty perverse when you're going to end up in a situation where paedophiles, rapists and murderers uh, are going to have uh, more, if you like, less sentences than people who commit benefit fraud. I think few people watching this would condone benefit fraud, and few would dispute the need to have certain measures in place to deal with it. But let's put this in context. Less than 1% of welfare spending is lost to benefit fraud. The government's own figures, incidentally, are £1.2 billion. Pounds. Now, I say this, and it's important to say this, because of our irresponsible media, we'll just be talking about our irresponsible media, uh, but because of that, research suggests that 27% of the British public, uh, sorry, people estimate that 27% is lost to benefit fraud. It's, I would say, less than 1%. If you want to put that in context, £16 billion pounds of benefits are lost less unclaimed each year, benefit evasion, if you like, is a bigger problem. But I think a wider point is this. This comes down, again, as it often does, to one rule for the people at the top and one rule for everybody else. Compare it, for example, to tax avoidance, £25 billion pounds lost a year. People come back and hit me and say, well, look, that's legal, that's perfect, that's, not, that's different from benefit fraud where they're violating uh, the clear legal framework. But that makes it worse. Because in that situation, you have large businesses, you have accountancy firms going into the Treasury, helping them to draw up the law, and then advising their clients about how to avoid it. You then have legal, for example, the fiddling of legal. Not a single person was convicted, and lastly... But, but we're talking about benefit fraud, well, no, but which this is, is a point. crime. Yes, absolutely. But this is, I think, a damning indictment of British society, where you can fiddle, as a banker, you can fiddle legal, the national rate, which will impact millions of people, and not a single person will be convicted. And we're now talking about, I don't know, a young unemployed mother who takes £10 cash in hand, being sent to, the, sent to prison. Well, what we're not, say? are we? We're, these are guidelines, and you know, those cases, a case like that that you highlight is not going to result in a prison sentence. What, what they're saying is that the, the punishment will fit the crime, but a punishment of up to 10 years is going to be available. Up to 10 years, as I say, which will be a sentence which will be far more punitive than lots of people who commit violent offences and go to prison for three, four, five years. Again, no one disputes the need to deal, if you like, with benefit fraud. We've got to put it in context. Why do we not ever talk about the desperation for people for work out there? Where is the news story about the fact last, uh, a few weeks ago, over 600 people applied for one vacancy uh, as an administrator in Hall? We don't talk about that. Instead, we get a constant focus on the tiny number of people who commit benefit fraud at the time of mass unemployment. And the, the whole point of this sort of coverage is to make people out there watching this think if you are taking benefits, then you are a criminal. You are playing the system, you are committing fraud. It's a tiny number of people. And I think when we're talking about these punitive measures, when we don't have a crackdown on tax avoidance, which remains perfectly legal, when we don't have people fiddling legal uh, with an impact on millions of people, not a single person convicted for that, it's one rule for the people at the top, it's one rule for everybody else. I mean, that's shameful. Oh, thank you very much, Ben Jones. Comments will be in the